In this video, we will be solving this question which says Murphy was consuming 100 units of X and 50 units of Y. The price of X rose from 2 to 3. The price of Y remained at 4. With this information, we are asked how much would Murphy's income have to rise so that he can still exactly afford 100 units of X and 50 units of Y. Let's first see what all information is given to us. So we have that Murphy can consume 100 units of X and 50 units of Y, which means this is your consumption bundle. The consumption bundle is usually represented as X, Y. And this is simply a list of two numbers that tells us how much the consumer is choosing to consume of good X and good Y. In our case, it, it is given that Murphy would consume 100 units of X and 50 units of Y, which means the consumption bundle for this particular case is 100 comma 50. Now, let's denote the price of good X by PX, the price of good Y by PY, where these are per unit prices and the income of Murphy by M. Now, we are given that the price of X rose from 2 to 3. This means there is a change in the price of good X. So, let's differentiate those prices. Let PX represents the initial price which is 2 and PX prime represent the new price which is 3 and we are also given that the price of good y is 4. There is no change in the price of good y so that would be only PY is equal to 4. And now we have to find the change in the income. So let M represents the initial income and M dash represents the new income so that he can still have 400 units of X and 50 units of Y at the new prices. The result of M prime minus M is your answer. So let's begin. We know that the general equation of the budget line is Px x plus Py y is equal to M. We know that Px is 2 and the consumer is consuming 100 units of x. So that would be 100 plus Py is 4. And the consumer is consuming 50 units of Y. And this is equal to M. That is 200 plus 200 is equal to M. Which means your initial income is 400. Now let's try and calculate the new income. Again we will work with this budget line. Now our prices have changed. Which means that your budget line would also change. That is it would be Px prime x plus p y y is equal to m dash. Now p x prime is 3 that is 3 and the consumer is still consuming 100 units of x and 50 units of y that would give me 100 and 50 here and p y remains as it is which is 4. Thus my new income would be m dash that is 300 plus 200 is equal to m dash. Now see that in order to still afford 100 units of x and 50 units of y with the new price of good x that is 3, Murphy needs to have the income of 500. But the question doesn't ask this. The question asks how much the Murphy's income have to rise. So let's calculate this. That would be m dash minus m which is 500 minus your m is 400 this is 100 thus murphy income have to rise by 100 units so that he can still afford 100 units of x and 50 units of y 